Welcome back to Skyrim, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. Some of you know that over the past week, I was out of state visiting family, had a very nice visit, and it has now been over a week since I last played. So it's kind of fun to jump back into the game. I went and watched the end of the last episode to uh, kind of uh, refresh my memory as to what was going on. And what is going on is we're doing this quest here. It's part of the Dawn Guard DLC, I believe. And uh, it's called A New Order. I've told Izran that I learned, or what I learned, at the Vampire Castle. Izran has asked me to find Soreen, Gerard, and Gunmar and bring them to him. We already found Gunmar. Now we need to recruit Soreen, Gerard. And Soreen, Gerard is somewhere. I don't know why it's not showing me on the map where Soreen Gerard is. What the heck, game? Show me where Soreen Gerard is. I know that it's north. It's up here. Recruit. We, we went to Markarth. We took a carriage to Markarth, and now we're heading up this way. And uh, we're going to see if there's anything else here in this part of the world we haven't discovered yet. We've got the Loverstone over here. I don't know. Should we go out of our way and walk over to the Loverstone and see what it does? It's right over there, why not? We're still traveling with good old Carjo. And here's that fugitive that, um... You know, we just kind of stood by and watched him get killed in the last episode. He gave us something before he was killed. What was it? What did he give us? Um, here's some ebony armor of invigoration. Is that what he gave us? I don't remember. I had some people tell me that, um... Maybe um, part of the reason that uh, I, I don't have as good of armor as I think I do is because my armor set doesn't match. I'm still using this Nordic carved armor instead of ebony armor. And uh, that's probably the, the problem right there. Uh, my armor rating is 339 with this on. But if I put this on instead, my armor rating actually goes to 324. So it actually goes down... But that may be because this is superior and this isn't. Um, I guess. I don't know. But, <clears throat> excuse me, shouldn't I be getting some kind of bonus to my armor? My armor rating since I have a full ebony set? I mean, I thought that's how that works. I've got ebony on my body, on my feet, my head, and my hands. That's a full set, isn't it? So where is my armor rating bonus? Unless getting this up to superior makes that much of a difference. We're going to go ahead and wear this. Even though it looks to me like it's a lower armor rating. I'm sure somebody will set me straight in the comments. Oh, this is that hunter that killed that fugitive. Did you see someone run past just now? Um, yeah, you killed him. You, you killed him in the last episode, dude. Jeez. Short memory. how great this game looks look at that that is awesome i mean even like the clouds are slowly drifting by that's awesome man you can even see way down there you can see the mist from the water underneath of that bridge i think it's pretty freaking cool man i like it it's a great looking game of course got a ton of mods I need to put together a list of the mods that I have installed and put them somewhere so that you guys know what I'm using in case you want to do the same thing. I don't know, man. I just slapped a bunch of stuff together. Didn't really put a whole lot of thought to it. Here's the stone. The lover's stone. I seriously doubt I'm going to change which stone I'm using. I'm using the steed stone, I believe. Here's the lover, the lover stone. Not the Lover's Stone, the Lover's Stone. Uh, I am currently enjoying the effects of the Steed Stone, which increases my carry capacity by 100 points, and my armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow me down. How can I say no to this? I wear heavy armor. Heavy armor weighs a lot, and it'll slow you down. And with the Steed Stone, it doesn't do either, plus I get 100 points. I mean, come on. Why would I ever get anything else? The Lover Stone. Those under the sign of the Lover always feel a lover's comfort. All skills improve faster. This would have been a good thing to get early in the game to get my skills up more quickly, but that did not happen. Therefore, it will never happen. 
Bird's Nest, Rock Warbler Egg. Why did I pick that up? Why? Because it was there. I need to go in that direction. But it uh, doesn't look like there's an easy way to go in that direction. Let me look at my map. See if I can get around this mountain here. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I think if we go around this way, we'll get around this mountain. Thing is, though, is that in this direction, there's like a ruins or something. Um, can I see it from here? That might be... No, I don't think that's it. What is preventing me from walking this way? There we go. That is a long way down. I do not think I want to jump to my death on those sharp rocks. Uh, I could become ethereal and jump down there. But I'd rather just try to find a legit way down. Over there is a mine, it looks like, according to my compass. Ruins right there. Not sure what that is. Not sure why it's not on my map. So I think we're going to have to go up and around. Was that you, Carjo? So let's see if we can go up and around this mountain here. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. So somebody told me about this shout that I should have. I think it's a shout. Kind's Peace. That I could use to um, soothe wild beasts. That would be nice. I don't have to kill these guys all the time, right? Wouldn't that be nice? So we will switch to Kind's Peace. Yeah, take a nap, buddy. Take a nap. There. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'm going to remember I have that equipped, and then when I come up against an enemy, I'm sure I won't shout Kind's Peace at them. But that's kind of cool. I always feel a little bad killing little nature dudes as we run through. There's some in that direction. There's also a ruins. Let's go to it. Let's just expose it on the map. Why not? I mean, yes, we're in the middle of a quest, but um, I'm also doing some exploring. I can do more than one thing at a time. Is that so strange? Is that so wrong? I don't think so. Then again, I'm making my own rules. I make them up as I go. Look at all the vegetation. I like it. Is Carjo still with us? There he stands. He's thinking about coming up here. Not sure whether he's going to follow me or not. It's a nice piece of music that's playing here. Huh. Huh, interesting. This is now... I, I, I'm not, have we been here already? We haven't. It's not on the map. Ragenvald. Okay. Um, Ragenvald. So I'm kind of curious as to why the game hasn't sent me here yet. But I'm going to give the game a chance to send me here. We're not going into Ragenvald. I'd hate to go in there and do all the work to clear it all out, only to have the game send me there later. But it is now on my map, so I am aware of it. Not that I'm going to remember all these places, but, um, you know. I do have work to do here. We need to... We need to get on up here. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Cut! That's right. Walk away. Walk away. Boy, he came out of nowhere. Oh, what happened over here? Oh my goodness! It's a bandit here fought these wolves and it did not go well for any of them what you got there buddy he's got an amethyst that's worth an awful lot he's got a couple pieces of gold and a lock pick we got a chest here we're gonna unlock this thing and see what's inside of it was he protecting the chest no he's a bandit he was trying to steal from the chest and unfortunately for him he got attacked by a couple of wolves. 
Karma's a bitch, buddy. Oh, lucky here. There's another bear down there. My shout has recharged. So I'll be able to use Kind's piece on this bear here. Yeah, I'm already liking Kind's piece. I don't need to fight every creature. There he is. He's making noises. Here he comes. Whoa, big fella. Whoa. I love that there's an animation of him lying down like that. I love that. It's fantastic. Hmm. What's this over here? Um, I mean, this place looks familiar. I'm pretty sure we've been here already. I guess it's part of Bethardum's. I guess it is. It's not where we're going. We're going this way. See if we can make our way down here. Make our way down here in such a manner that Carjo will follow us. Always, always concerned about my followers. I know I've killed a lot of them, but I really do care about them. I seriously doubt he followed me down here. Do I see any movement? Any signs of Carjo? There he is. I'll be doggone. He did follow me. Hm. They're always, always surprising me. Never a dull moment when you're traveling with a follower. Let's have five it. I'd hate to die now and get sent all the way back to where we started this episode. Look at this little pool of water here. It's beautiful. Ooh, a couple of arrows shot into a rock. That's, um... Interesting, couple of four sworn arrows. A little fishy there. Nice. Got us some Nern root. All right, going this way. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, what the? That was weird. Is that just the? The day changing color? Because that was abrupt. That was... That was very odd, don't you think? Oh. Huh. That's weird. That, that seemed to do damage to the Spriggan when I did Kind's Peace. I knew I had Kind's Peace selected. Uh, but I wanted to see if Kind's Peace did anything on the Spriggan. Spriggan is kind of nature-y, right? I don't know whether that... Did that do damage to the Spriggan? I don't know. Hagraven? What is going on here? Boy, Hagraven feathers sure are worth an awful lot. Huh. Did the... Um, was the uh, Spriggan the cause of that light change that we saw? Huh. And I heard this rabbit die. I heard it squeak. Did the Spriggan kill it? Ooh, that was a weird glitch. So many questions that I do not have the answers to. Don't know what happened there. And my health is still poor. Little bunny rabbit running there. Go over these rocks. Oh no. Well, see you later, Car Joe. See you later, buddy. I know he didn't make that move. What do we have here? Wolves.
the satchel sitting over there. Now remember, we've come up here to recruit someone. I guess maybe they're hiding in a cave, perhaps. Oh, this is Soreen's satchel. Oh no, what happened here? Got seven Dwemer gyros in there. I'm not interested in those. But why is her satchel sitting there? Is she okay? Oh no. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, she's gonna fight that wolf. <laughs> oh well. Must have run off. Soreen. Hello, how are you? What would the mud crabs want with my satchel anyway? <laughs> hey, Soreen. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Yeah. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Just look around, will you? Uh, I already found it. Um. Well, I mean, I don't get the opportunity to tell her I found it, but whatever. Isran asked me to find you. Isran wants me. That's what I said. No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. Hmm. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Hmm. So, um, you guys had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Listen. Vampires. They threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Yeah. Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? <laughs> uh, well, they have an Elder Scroll, I'll tell you that. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Um, I, I don't have any on me, okay? Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Alright. But but I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Alright, fine. Farewell. I'll look for your gyro. I know exactly where it is. What's in here, though? Oh, the convector, it's empty. And here we've got the Dwarven Arrow. Huh, interesting. Um, so her satchel was right over here. I just happened to get lucky and come at her from this this angle. I'm going to take the gyros. Hey, look, I got a gyro. <laughs> She's eating. Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? What would mud uh, crabs want with my satchel anyway? Well, can I give her the gyro or not? I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Yeah, I've got one. Take it. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? We're meeting at Fort Dawnguard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Okay. All right, then. There you go. We've recruited Serene Gerard. Can we talk to her again? I guess I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard. I guess. I guess I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard. All right, we'll see her at Fort Dawnguard. Be interesting to see if she's got like some kind of cool weapon or something dwarven related. 
since uh, she needed that gyro for something or other. Be cool to see the uh, fruits of her labor. Well, um... Where'd she go? Which direction did she go in? Okay, there she goes. So, she's walking in that direction, which is like exactly the opposite direction of Fort Dawnguard. So, I don't know, maybe she's, uh, maybe she's got a camp set up over there and she's going to go back over to her camp and um, get her stuff before she heads over to Fort Dawnguard. Maybe she's going to take a bath, I don't know. But um, I often wonder if, you know, you could follow the the NPC here and uh, follow them all the way back. I seriously doubt it though. I don't think it'll work. Look how beautiful this water is. It's really pretty. Look at this. This is oh man, I'm getting I'm gonna get sucked over the waterfall if I'm not careful. I figured I might as well go take a bath. Some salmon here in this water. No treasure behind the waterfall. Well Oh it's a dragon! Oh, it's a dragon. Oh, it's a dragon. Boy, wouldn't it be something if uh, Sorin died in this battle to this dragon? Wouldn't that be crazy? Um, so let me switch to um, Fireball here just to mix it up a little bit. Hey, you. Elder Dragon. Come back here, you. Elder Dragon. Oh man, he's shooting frost on somebody up there. Oh, there's other, there's something else up here on my mini map. Uh, I don't think I hit him. Oh, maybe I did. I don't really think that the um, mana to damage quotient is enough to use fireball versus uh, Fire Bolt. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong about this. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it does as much damage as I, as, I would, as I would expect it to, considering how much mana it uses. Where is he? Where'd you get? Oh gosh, that's a little too close for comfort. Come on, hit him. Am I even hitting him? I think my sword is out of charge. Yes, it is. Okay, can I can I charge my sword here while I'm in the middle of this battle? Let's see here. I've got my sword. Got this guy here. We're gonna charge it with. Uh, let's see. Grand soul gem, greater soul gem. There we go. It's charged. Doing a fair amount of damage to him. Down he goes. Sorin's like, oh well. Must have run off. What do you think? Eh? We just killed an Elder Dragon. Pretty formidable, huh? Not too shabby. Alright, let's grab ourselves another Dragon Soul. Get so many Dragon Souls and nothing to do with them. Uh, we're gonna take his gold and leave the other stuff behind. It's not worth picking up, in my opinion. I guess you will. Okay, well, we need to go in this direction. And it is a long walk back to Fort Dawnguard. It is a long walk. So, do we just head on back there? I don't know, man. It's so far away. If I want to take a carriage, I'll need to walk all the way to Solitude or back down to Markarth. Then I'll take a carriage to what? Riften? And then from Riften, we'll go on over here to uh, Dawnguard. Such a long, long, long way away. kind of feel like I should see if there's anything else that needs to be done in this part of the world before we leave this part of the world. I mean, I'm sure the vampires will wait. So, let us do this business again. And uh, just see if there's something that we can't take care of while we're here. Let's see. Let's look at the map. Okay, so we're up here 
And um, boy, there is nothing going on up here except over here. But we're supposed to kill Orchendor. Uh, I'm not going to do that. This is, has something to do, I think. Is it Boethia who wants me to kill him? I don't remember. Kill Orchendor. Kill Orchendor. Yeah, all this business. The Daedric Prince Periite has solicited me to kill an elf named Orchendor. Well, I'm not going to do that. So that's a quest that will never get completed. Um, and then... As far as anything else nearby, it's shown a couple things in Markarth, but I, when I was in Markarth, I decided I wasn't going to do either one of these two. I'm not going to kill Logroff, and I'm not going to find evidence of Ogman's Talos worship. I'm not going to do that. Here is the Solitude Lighthouse. We're supposed to put out the fire and make a boat crash. We're not going to do that either. So that will not get done. Uh, and then, um, man, I mean, there is like nothing up here. Here is find the copy of Arcana Restored. Something we're supposed to do here at Lost Valkig. That's something for good old Urag, right? And then here, we're supposed to find some mammoth tusk powder for somebody. So we could walk in this direction. I mean, it's still a hell of a walk, right? It's a long walk all the way across here. That's a long walk. So here's where our kind of restored would be. So. Uh, I am going to uh, go ahead and just fast travel to here. I don't feel like I need to make this walk again. I feel like this is a walk I've made many times already. So we are just going to go ahead and fast travel over here. Like I said, it's my game and I make up the rules as I play it. That's one of the fun things about playing games. You get to make up the rules. Hello, horsey. So we as part of our journey back to Fort Dongard or whatever it's called. <laughs> Fort Don... Fort what? I don't know. Uh, we are going to do this quest here. It's a miscellaneous, I'm pretty sure, where we're supposed to find the copy of Arcana Restored. We're going to go ahead and turn off all these other quests here while we're doing this. And uh, we'll go and find this book. This is a place that I believe we've already visited before. Holy cow. This place is freaking huge. But it's pointing me to this door. Um, so I... Ooh, who's the enemy over here? There's enemy in this direction. Oh, it's a uh, frost troll. Hmm. Let's go in. Oh, that's cool. Look at that vampire. Alright, so we're supposed to find a book in here. Now, the problem is, is that I do want to turn this quest on. But in order to turn this quest on, I need to turn the other ones off. But I don't think I'm going to be able to find this book unless I turn all of these off. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a moment, turn all these off. Okay, all right. Oh, what the? It's pointing me in that direction? I thought it was pointing me here. Maybe it wasn't. Hmm. Well, the music is certainly dramatic. Nope, it's pointing me in this direction. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. That's okay. Alright, well, just walk in here and see what happens, I guess. Maybe this thing wraps us around and takes us in that direction. Huh, got some bodies in there. And I'm pretty sure we've been in here before. Uh, I don't know where Carjo went. Oh, these look like pressure plates to stand on. Hmm. Huh. Oh, man. Look at this. 
Weird. Have I been here? Because I don't remember this. Huh. Fascinating. Um, so this game... I don't recall there being a way to, like... Like, pick this up and place it there. I don't, I don't really remember there being any kind of, like, inventory manipulation that I can do. Um, so I'm left wondering, I mean, those are conveniently placed there as if I can place them there, but I don't think I can do that. Now, I do have the thought of, um, trying Whirlwind Sprint to get through, but I don't think I'll make it. But we're going to try it anyway. It's the only thing I can think of at the moment. What? Not cast! <laughs> well, it worked, but now I'm trapped in here. Okay, Cash, have I not been here? I thought I'd been here, but this does not seem familiar at all. Salt pile, potion of minor healing. Snowberries. Fascinating. Is this just a place that Carjo's not allowed to enter with me? Is that why he's not here? I don't know, man. This is all very cool. I was thinking we were just going to come in here and get this book and get out of here, but this is starting to look like this is going to be a, a bit of work, huh? I'm going to hit F5. I don't want to die. And then have to go through that puzzle again. Oh, this is a drug of death, Lord. Don't you fuss right on me, pal. Oh, I just wore one and sprinted into him. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, neat. Check him out. This is kind of fun. Running around here. Playing a little cat and mouse with them. Nope. Yeah, try again. I'm gonna switch to my uh, Fusroda. So you can play at that game, buddy. Okay, he's down. Try again, pal. Blast you in the face. My destruction has increased to 89. Alright, he's down. What do you got here? Got an embalming tool, a steel helmet, bone meal. Alright, what do you got on you? Anything good? Ooh, an ebony sword. That sounds pretty cool. We'll take that stuff. And you, that's the same guy. You, what do you got, Draugr White? Eh, a little bit of gold. Alright, we'll get back into Crouchy Crouch mode. Maybe we could catch somebody by surprise. Hmm. Interesting, not, not a whole lot going on in here. Boy, I don't like that I'm in here by myself. Makes me nervous. Let's see what's in the urn. Gold. Oh, cool. Potion of extreme healing. Definitely take that. Thank you very much. Somebody broke that urn open. Uh, big room up ahead. That makes me nervous. Hmm. Very big room. Okay, somebody's going to come out of there. You know it. You know that's going to happen. Yep. Yep. Here he comes from behind me. Oh, this is just a restless jogger. He shouldn't be too much of a problem. But did you see over to the right there, when I peeked my head around the corner? Did you see that? There was something going on over there. A couple of dudes. Looked like we interrupted something very personal. Got this guy here. Drucker Death Lord. It's been suggested that maybe I use my um, crossbow. Because it goes through armor. He got me. This guy's not even wearing armor, but buddy, he went a fleeing across the room. Fire. 
Fuss Roda, buddy. Um, we're gonna Fuss Roda me. Oh, he doesn't like that. See, I, I just feel like I get way more bang for my buck with Fireball versus Fireball. I mean, look how much of that I could cast before I run out of um, mana. I don't know, man. You could try to convince me otherwise. Gold, steel boat, ancient Nord arrows that I pick up just because they don't weigh anything and they uh, could maybe be used for something at some point. I don't know. You, ebony sword. Another ebony sword. <laughs> Ooh, an alchemy lab in here. There's a door. Here we've got... I don't know what you call those things. Are these, is this a sarcophagus? Wooden door here. And <laughs> over here, we've got another passage. We've got a, an urn that's empty. Hmm, let's look at the map and see what this place looks like. What are we up against here? All right, well, how about a local map? Hmm, this is a very strange looking map. It's not really showing me a whole lot. Huh, I don't even know what to make of this. Let's see what's behind the door here. What's behind door number one? Hmm. 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 We've got a dead Draugr. We've got a pressure plate. we got a gate here that I gotta try to unlock with my apprentice skills. Apparently I stepped on that pressure plate again. Thought I'd avoided it that time, but I guess I didn't. Uh, an iron helmet. Salt pile. Burial urn. Eh, there's some good stuff in there. That ruby was certainly worth it. Boy, I cannot stop stepping on that. It's like my new favorite pastime. Huh. Okay, so this continues down here. And then here. Got another doorway. This over here. Got another urn. Urn. I may hear footsteps, I'm not sure. We got a lever there. Dwarven boots. Another urn. Oh, a potion of ultimate healing, yes please. Thank you very much. Check this guy out. That's pretty neat. Apothecary Satchel, Avar Stone Singer, a book we've already read. Human Heart, Potion of Ultimate Stamina, and a Silverside Perch. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is like a little prison cell for somebody, I guess. But this guy's a freaking. I was going to say he's a giant, but I was crouched down, so he's just normal sized. Huh. Okay. Okay, um, that was interesting. Just, uh, poor guy left here forgotten all this time. Uh, I found him too late. I, could, I couldn't help him. I'm sorry, bud. I'm so sorry. Alright, let's go down here and see what's up. Did I miss anything over here? No. Alright, down we go. Oh, oh. See if this does anything. Come on now. Don't be shy. Shoot him in the leg, I think. Uh, I don't think I hit him. Gosh, I should prob probably be saving my bolts. I've only got 40 of them. Probably should be saving them for tougher enemies. Like vampires. What you got? A little bit of gold. Potion I'll sell off. Get one of my steel bolts back. That's always fun. Reusable ammunition. All right, we'll take that. Okay. This is getting interesting. 
whatever I'm looking for is in that direction. This is making me nervous. This is a really neat looking room though. Some nightshade here. Alright, who's gonna jump out at me? There's a throne here. Ooh, 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 whoa. Oh my. Oh, whatever I'm looking for is right over there. Here, we'll get some stuffs. Search this chest. Get some golds. What is down there? Wow. We're here. Huh, I thought this was gold or something, because it's not. Huh. Interesting place. It's really cool. So, whatever I'm looking for is in this direction. But I'm really curious about this big hole here. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's Drug or Death Lord. Shoot arrows at me, dude. Oh, oh! Huh. <laughs> Holy. Wait a minute. That didn't kill me, it just knocked me across the room. I thought it killed me. It didn't. It just knocked me across the room. <laughs> He's laughing at me. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Well. So you can play at that game, buddy boy. I didn't do anything to him. Either that or I missed him. Terrible, terrible. Golly, man. Okay, let's uh, let's let's let's. Uh... Damn it! <laughs> that was a hell of a good shot. Gee whiz! I was just reaching up to uh, go into my potions. And uh, he got me, man. He got me around the post. Cannot believe it. I feel like I got better stuff last time. Doggone it, man. That doesn't do anything to him. Son of a bitch! I don't like this guy. Yeah, that, uh, bolt didn't seem to do anything to him. Oh, man. Oh, damn it! Oh, I don't like this thing. Oh, what's that he said now? Freaking whiffed. Okay. I'm a little worried he's gonna fuss Rodami. Plus, I'm out of stamina. So, we're gonna back away a little bit. Oh, he's getting some health back. Oh, look at this guy. Dang it. It's freaking annoying, man. Get up. Get up. Took a knee. Alright, down goes the drugger death lord. What you got, buddy? Mm, arrows, ebony arrows, ebony bow. A lot of uh ebonyness going on in here. This is it, man. This is what we came here for. Make sure this thing isn't trapped. Doesn't appear to be. And Arcana Restored, a book that, according to this, I've already read. That's what it says. Gold, greater soul gem, bracers. Okay. There we go. We need to return this book to Urag Groshub. That's what we need to do. And, um, according to my notes here... According to my notes... Why am I not finding this in my notes? No, I don't want to do that. Um. Huh. Well, 
Arcana Restored, there it is. And according to this, I have indeed read it. Okay, so I did read this book already, and that's fine. But it is time to read a book. I'm gonna end this episode here, but not before reading, reading a book. I'm gonna aim myself at this hole because we're gonna go down in there in the next episode, so make sure you come back. But first, it's time to read a book. Let's look into our inventory here. And um, according to my notes, well, I mean, it doesn't look like we've read an accounting of the scrolls yet, have we? Is this the Elder Scrolls? Let's see what this is. An accounting of the Elder Scrolls by Quintus Nerevelus, former Imperial Librarian. After the supposed theft of an Elder Scroll from our Imperial Library, I endeavored to find any sort of index or catalog of the scrolls in our possession so that such situations may be avoided or at least properly verified in the future. To my dismay, I discovered that the moth priests are notoriously inexact when it comes to the actual physical manifestations of the scrolls and had no idea how many they held or how they were organized. Merely asking the question evoked chuckles as if a child was asking why dogs cannot talk. I will confess my jealousy of the ones who can read the scrolls grows, but I am not yet willing to sacrifice my sight to alleged knowledge. The older moth priests I attempt to engage in conversation seem as batty as any other elder who has lost their mind, so I fail to see what wisdom is imparted from the reading. In any case, I set out to create my own index of the elder scrolls in cooperation with the monks. Day by day, we went through the tower halls with them telling me the general nature of each Elder Scroll so that I might record its location. Always careful never to glimpse the writings myself, I had only their word to go on. I meticulously drew out a map of the chambers where scrolls relating to various specific prophecies were located, where particular periods of history were housed. In all, it took nearly a year of plotting, but at last I had rough notes on the entirety of the library to begin my collation. It was there that things began to go amiss. In studying my notes, I found many areas of overlap and outright contradiction. In some cases, different monks would claim the same scroll to be at opposite ends of the tower. I know they have no taste for jesting, or else I would suspect I was being made the fool in some game of theirs. I spoke to one of the older monks to relate my concerns, and he hung his head in sorrow for my wasted time. Did I not tell you, he coughed, when you started this, that all efforts would be futile? The scrolls do not exist in countable form. I had thought you meant there were too many to be counted. There are, but that is not the least of their complexities. Turn to the repository behind you and tell me how many scrolls are locked therein. I ran my fingers over the metal casings, tallying each rounded edge that they encountered. I turned back. Fourteen, I said. Hand me the eighth one, he said, reaching out his hand. I guided the cylinder into his palm, and he gave a slight nod to acknowledge it. Now count again. Humoring him, I again passed my hands over the scrolls, but could not believe what I was feeling. Now... Now there are eighteen, I gasped. The old monk chuckled, his cheeks pushing up his blindfold until it folded over itself. And in fact, he said, there always were. It was then that I enrolled as the eldest novice ever accepted into the cult of the Ancestor Moth. Hmm, interesting. That'll do it for an accounting of the scrolls. And that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me again. Hope you had a good time. If you did, won't you let me know? You could leave me a like or a comment to do that. And um, I guess that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Sure, hope you join me again in the next episode.